Okay, we're gonna write a simple script in Python. Uh, we'll make a, like an alarm clock or wake up alarm. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, in uh, VS Code, go ahead and uh, create a new file. And we'll start by saving it as um, wake up dot py so uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we'll import the OS because the first thing I like to do when I run a script is to clear the terminal screen so that it looks a little cleaner so import OS next thing we'll do is uh, we'll need to import date time and we're gonna need a uh, sound so from play sound we will import play sound and because we're on a Mac we will import from app kit change the language on my keyboard uh, from app kit we're gonna import NSS uh, NS sound now the very first thing we're gonna do when this app runs is we will do OS dot system clear the terminal screen so it starts out pretty next we need to get a couple of variables um, we'll need the the minute the hour and a.m. p.m. option so we need to set the variable so how about with the we'll do alarm h for hour will equal integer and the integer will be gathered from input with the question of what hour do you want the alarm to ring and then the next question we'll have is uh, alarm minute and that also will be an integer gathered from the input and it will say what minute do you want the uh, alarm to ring And the final option, final question will be uh, in AM or PM because obviously the operating system is working in 24 hour format. So we'll do AM PM equals, and this will be a string, STR, we'll gather it from the input. question will be am or pm question mark okay so those are the big important things here so after we ask these questions we'll go ahead and clear that screen again so it stays pretty so os dot system clear And we'll give it a little indicator that way we know that the code is uh, doing something or you know it's thinking here. So we'll do a print what do we say here? Waiting for alarm.
and then we'll hit a com put a comma in here so that we can go from a string to an integer. Uh, this is a, I think this is something new with Python 3. You'll be able to go uh, switch it back and forth with integers and strings just by using a comma within the same line. Um, so we'll do alarm h, comma, alarm m, comma, and we need to get rid of that capital A. And AM PM. Okay, that should print a little indicator on the screen as to what's going on there. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to differentiate between AM and PM. So, obviously, a 24 hour clock versus a 12 hour clock, we need to add 12 hours to whatever, whatever the hour mark is if it's a PM issue. So, with military time, we would say 1,500 hours, that would be 3 p.m. So we 3 p.m. plus 12 hours would be, you know. So we need to get a little math in here. Um, so we'll say if a.m. p.m. equals p.m. colon, we will modify the variable of alarm hour to equal alarm hour plus 12. So that, that should fix it. So 1600 hours would be 4 p.m. So 1600 minus 12 would be 4 a.m. or 4 p.m. But anyway, you understand the math here. We're adding 12 hours to indicate the p.m. here. So now we'll go ahead and write the code for the alarm itself. So we'll do while one equals one colon if alarm H equals date time ah. And essentially this here is just the map that basically runs it. I've got a couple of typos in here. Uh, but uh, this is the math that basically calculates is that this hour is at this minute and uh, to determine whether the alarm needs to trigger or not. And we want some sort of indication on the screen to see that something's happening. So we'll echo out or print uh, the time to wake up once the alarm triggers. Uh, it'll say time to wake up on the screen. And we'll go ahead and add in the sound effect as well, which is why we imported the play sound up at the top. So we'll go ahead and uh, trigger this play sound and we'll map it out to, the, uh, to an MP3 that I have on the hard drive here. So make sure you type in the full path of the MP3 or, or audio file that you're using. And we're ready to go ahead and run this. So we'll enter the hour at uh, 5 and the minute at 27. And we'll set up a PM. And of course, my clock changed immediately after typing that. So let's do that again here with uh, a different time.
So the script was essentially done with only 18 lines of code, uh, and it's working. And while we're waiting for the time to change the clock up here, uh, one thing I think I'm going to change is this. Uh, it's at 18 lines of code. I think after I confirm that this works here, we're going to uh, multiply that play sound by several times. If we have, you know, that way it gets a beep, 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 you know, multiple entries. So it's going to increase the lines of code, but let's see here. 528. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add in uh, more of these, multiply this line here and enter, enter this line multiple times <laughs> not on the same row let me back this up and do it again that way it's a little easier to digest when you're reading it here all right so we have this code in here and about nine times so we'll run the code again and this time we'll set the time for five o'clock and 29 minutes set it for p.m hit enter now we're waiting so this should give us uh uh, the play sound effect, what, eight, seven, eight, nine times, so beep, 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 you know, kind of kind of an alarm type sound there. So uh, this is a pretty simple code here, pretty simple program to run, and uh, I hope you learned something from it. If not, uh, if I did anything wrong, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I appreciate watching. And there it is. Y'all have a great day.